we're out here at Byford doing our first commercial build, our first non-residential build. This build is a little different to Dayton, so it's a good opportunity for us to do something different. This was actually designed to be built by conventional manual brick laying, but after the success at Dayton, uh, the builders suggested that we come out and have a look at this one. So that's exactly what we've done. It's a double leaf cavity wall uh, with brick tyres, and uh, it's a little bit bigger than Dayton. Uh, so it's about one and a half times the size and also one and a half times the height. Uh, so this is a good lead up to us building two storey houses towards the end of the year. Yeah, the build's been going really well. A uh, few hold ups today, but they were expected and that's because we had to put in lintels and a few bits of structural steel. Uh, that was done, like I said, in the way that it would be done for manual brick laying. And in future we would do that a little bit more prefabricated, so it's a little easier to erect on site. Uh, but this is how the builder wanted to do it, so that's uh, what we've accommodated. In WA it's quite common to build a cavity wall, although it's not so common around the rest of the world, where it's quite often done to just build off the edge of the slab. So behind me we have a slab which has a footing which is lower, and this is done in WA partly traditionally, but also because we have quite high winds in winter time, which tends to drive rain against walls. So the cavity provides a good waterproofing solution for the house. But what this does show is the flexibility of Hadrid and its ability to accommodate with what builders want to do. This is just the start of spring in WA, which often brings quite variable weather. It's nice and sunny today, uh, unlike yesterday when it was windy, rainy. Uh, we even had a bit of hail over the last two days. Uh, Hadrian actually drove down to site uh, through quite a heavy rainstorm and hail uh, so that doesn't present any problems at all and we're sort of proving out the all weather ability of Hadrian. Um, in the past we have expected that Hadrian would only be able to build in fairly light rain uh, but just in the last few days we've proven out that it can actually build in quite heavy rain kind of uh, conditions which manual bricklayers wouldn't like to be out working in if they could work at all uh, and Hadrian just kept on going right through it. So this build uh, is a little larger than what we designed this model of machine for. It's a commercial build, so it's a bit bigger than your average house. So we'll actually do this in two parts. Hadrian actually has good reach out, uh, but can only build so close to itself uh, because obviously the laying head could get in the way of its legs and so on. So we'll be doing this in two parts and moving Hadrian back a few metres and then finishing off the second part of the build. And what this really demonstrates for commercial structures is that there's not really any limit to the size of structure that Hadrian can build. At Dayton, uh, because we we're just building a, a single wall, we didn't have the requirement for brick ties and also all the lintels went in after the build. On this commercial build, we're building a cavity wall so we have to place brick ties and we can actually do that while Hadrian is working. So we have a, a person in zone safety protocol and what that means is that people can actually go in while the machine is building a wall uh, and as long as they're a, a safe distance away from it, uh, they're able to do other tasks such as place brick ties. And what that means is that when we leave the site, all the brickwork is done and all the ancillary work that goes along with that is done, which means we can basically just pack up and leave the site with uh, no more works to happen. So as we do more builds, we're working on our efficiencies. We have a continuous improvement program and we debrief after each build and work out how we can do things a little better. So what that means is the number of people on site has been reducing. Uh, there are a lot of FBR additional people on site who are not involved in the building, such as camera crew and even myself. Uh, for the first two days of this build, I didn't need to come down. Uh, and this is just something which is getting better as we go by. Uh, eventually we'll end up with just two people on site.